What is going on, comic book fans? Welcome back to Bruce and Stephanie Comics. My name is Bruce, and happy Wednesday! New comic book day is here. Today is January 26th of 2021. I hope you guys have enough time in your day to hit up your local LCS and pick up all the books on your pull list, but also all the spec books that you put on your pull list because you watched comic book spec. Speculation Recommendations, the video series where I look up into the future at Final Order Cutoff in New Comic Book Day of next week. Now, why do I do this? Now, I do this because I want to make sure you guys have enough time to put in your pre-orders for your Final Order Cutoff books, but also have enough time to reach out to your local LCS and tell them, hey, I was watching Bruce and Stephanie Comics comic book speculation recommendations video. I like what he had to say. I did my own research and I would like to pick up a couple extra copies of these books because I would like to start and make this hobby fun itself. Now, before we jump into the juicy speculation for this week, I want to take a minute and remind you guys of two things. And the first one will always be, you have to do your own research. This is very important because why? Speculation is educated guesses. I'm using my knowledge of comic books to make the best guesses possible on what books I think will be popular on the secondary market in the future. So what I need you guys to do, because you can't just trust one person, I need you guys to go check other comic book YouTubers you trust, go check other comic book websites that you trust, and other comic book apps that you trust. Gather the most information possible so this way you guys can make the best decisions possible for yourself. Because remember, you guys are spending your own hard-earned money on these books, not my money your money. The second and final reminder that I have for you guys is that there are delays with comics. So sometimes a book will show up multiple times on FOC because the book is being delayed. And the same thing goes for new comic book day. Sometimes the release date gets moved week after week. So I will talk about that book multiple times in the new comic book day section because the book has been delayed. All right, guys, those are my two reminders. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go over all the books that have speculation landing on this upcoming final order cutoff. All right, guys, we're talking about the books landing on Final Order Cutoff the week of January 30th for your DC and Scout books and January 31st of 2022 for all your Marvel and all the other indie books. Now, we always kick off our Final Order Cutoff in our new comic book day list with our cover lover picks of the week. Now, these are books on this list just for the cover themselves, guys, not for the interiors. There's no first appearance, second appearance, cameos origin stories or anything else this is just gorgeous art on the cover we only have one book that's right one book in our cover lover section and that is harley quinn number 12 the c cover which is the one in 25 done by rain gonzalez this cover is absolutely amazing i think harley quinn lovers are gonna go bananas for this cover i think most people are gonna go bananas for this cover this cover is absolutely fantastic guys you can still pre-order it now for 50 dollars. but if you have an in at your local comic book shop and can get this for 25 i highly suggest you guys try and score this book this is going to do very well on the secondary market in my opinion just on this cover alone there's nothing going on in the guts per se i'm personally enjoying the story but guys this cover is amazing and if you can snag it Snag it, because it's going to do well on that secondary market. All right, guys, with our cover lover pick out of the way, we're going to dive right into all the books that have speculation landing on Final Order Cutoff. And the first book up is Aquaman number one. The solicitation references a Atlantean sleeper agent involved in terrorism. Next up, Deathstroke Inc. number six. The solicitation refers to Deathstroke becoming a king. That's pretty freaking cool. Next up, Amazing Spider-Man number 91. Possible new villain that resides behind Door Z. Whatever the hell that is. Next up, Moon Knight number nine. Again, the solicitation references some type of maze challenge called the fifth floor. Will Moon Knight emerge victorious or will his body and mind be broken by the fifth floor? Lore. Again, Key Collector, why the hell is that speculation? Next up, Rogue Sun, number one. This actually looks really cool in my opinion. This expands on Image's superhero universe that began in Radiant Black. Next up, Spider-Woman number 10. This is the first team appearance of the Anti-Arcanine, Spider-Woman's version of the Sinister Six. Again, so dumb. Why can't they do something original? Next up, Star Wars High Republic Adventures number 13. This is the final issue of that series. It's always good to pick up the final issue of a series. Next up, Strange number one. This is the premiere issue of Clea in the role of Sorcerer Supreme. The last and final book that has speculation this upcoming week on Final Order Cutoff is What If Miles Morales number one. This is a five issue limited series where Miles is not bitten by a radioactive spider, but instead is recruited by the government for the Super Soldier Program. All right, guys, those are all the books that have speculation on this upcoming Final Order Cutoff. 
from all those books that I just spoke about, there are two books that spark my speculation fancy, and the first one up is Strange number one. Now, why is that? We all know that Benedict Cumberbatch is not gonna be playing Doctor Strange forever in the MCU. He's gonna either step away, or they're gonna wanna kill him or replace him with a different character. Now, for a while, there's some rumblings that they wanna replace him with Doctor Voodoo, but you know what they have to do first? They have to introduce Doctor Voodoo. And I also know that the MCU is pushing a lot of their female characters to the forefront. They want those women in lead roles. Now, why not have, when Benedict Cumberbatch steps back from his role as the Source of Supreme, have a female lead take that spot? And we could see Clea, Clea, take that role. And this would be your premiere issue of Clea as the lead role, which would be really freaking cool. All right, guys, there's one last book that I think you guys might want to consider picking up extra copies, landing on Final Order Cutoff, and that is Rogue Sun number one. I love that Image Comics is building out a new superhero universe. I believe this is going to be the second ongoing title of that universe. We have Radiant Black and now Rogue Sun. And the good thing about this, in my opinion, is that a streaming service could pick this up and build a new superhero universe. You don't have to worry about introducing old legacy characters to people. These are characters that you can introduce to a younger audience or an older audience and get excited about. I also think this is great because you guys can get on the ground floor. You guys can still pick up copies of Radiant Black for dirt cheap on the secondary market. And you guys can get on the ground floor with Rogue Sun number one. It's still in Final Order Cutoff. You guys can pick up some extra copies. And guys, some of the incentive covers are insane. They are gorgeous. All right, guys, those are my two Final Order Cutoff spec picks of the week. All right, let's not waste any more time and dive into my new comic book day spec picks. All right, guys, let's go over my new comic book day spec picks for February 2nd of 2022. Just like always, we're going to go over my cover lover picks first, and there are two books that we need to consider for speculation based on the cover alone. Guys, I've already spoken about this book multiple times, and that is Batman number 120, the 1 in 25 Dan hip cover. I think this cover is gorgeous. I think it's going to do really well on the secondary market. I've already locked up my copy, and I hope you locked up yours as well. And the next book up is X Lives of Wolverine number 2, the Stormbreakers variant done by Ivan Coelho. I'm not sure if this is going to do really well. I think this cover is absolutely stunning. If this book does do well on the secondary market, I can see it doing well in the future. Maybe not right out of the gate, but in the future, I do think this book will do really well. Now, if you guys do not have the Key Collector app, go download that app right now and sign up for your subscription because this app is how I make this list each and every single week. It is just essential for all speculators. You guys not might agree with all the books that land on the Key Collector app, but at least you have an idea of what is out there each and every single week. Now this week, there are 16 books that have speculation, seven new number ones, two first appearances, and some other books. But we're gonna go over three books really, really quick. Let's dive into what those books are. The first book that we're gonna go over is an honorable mention, and that is Geiger the 80 Page Giant. I've spoken about this book so many times because this book has been delayed so many times, but mainly it was in final order cutoff spec, but it is finally in new comic book day spec. If you guys don't know, this book is going to have a lot of origin stories for characters that were introduced in the previous issues. So if you're into Geiger and you think this book will get picked up by a streaming service in the future, pick up this book because it's going to have all the origin stories that you need. All right, guys, let's go over the two books that I really think have speculation on New Comic Day. And the first one up is Amazing Spider-Man number 88. This is the first appearance of Queen Goblin, Ashley Kafta. Ashley Kafta, the Queen Goblin. Now... We all know that the Green Goblin's already been introduced into the MCU. Why not replace that with Queen Goblin, another female-led role? Yes, it is a villain, but we like to introduce female characters into the MCU, so why not Queen Goblin? And guys, that 1 in 10 Patrick Gleason design variant is absolutely stunning. I love that cover. That would be the cover I would go after for this book. And the next book is Super Massive number one. This is the first appearance of Inferno Girl Red in First appearance of Rogue Sun. We spoke about this in Final Order Cutoff. Image is introducing that new superhero world, and I think that is a great, great idea. I think some streaming service will pick this up in the future, and why not have the first appearances of Rogue Sun, of Inferno Girl Red, and then you can go back and get your Radiant Black first appearances as well. All right, guys, those are my picks for Final Order Cutoff and New Comic Day. That is the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and guys, let me know 
if I missed any books that you think have really good speculation or cover lower picks for final order call, but also new column book day, it's only a week away. If you guys have hung around this lot and you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications and smash that like button. All right, guys, I'm gonna try my best to have a new video for you guys on Friday. It's a new idea. I hope you guys like it. So stay tuned for on Friday for a new video. If not, I'll see you guys next Monday. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.